Uh, we're getting some complaints. You people are too loud. <laughs> the Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge. We have so much to talk about. You know, Goomba, mm. uh, just to let you know, our friend Filippo's visiting from Italy. I don't know how to turn his microphone. What microphone. part of Italy? Uh, well, uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I hold I on, we got to push a button. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh, this is the worst. What, it, did the Italians make this board? It's awful. <laughs> there we are. There Good we morning, are. guys. Good morning. morning. Yeah, <laughs> welcome. So, thank you so much. It's so nice to be here. I'm from the north. I was born in a city that you probably don't know, which is called Genova. Is that near Luca? Yeah, Genova. Uh, it's... I mean, it's pretty close to Toscana, to yeah. Tuscany, yeah. but yeah, it's in the north, but now I live in Milan, as you know. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, and you dress like you're from Milan. You look yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think so? It's so funny <laughs> how, you know, Goomba Johnny <laughs> is an Italian-American. Scary is an Italian-American. They think they're Italian. Yeah. And so Filippo likes to come to town once a year to remind them, they're not Italian. <laughs> 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 anyway, we've got lots to talk about, about your trip to New York, New York and everything. So Goomba Johnny... Mm. Um, has, he was in radio here for us for many years. Now he's he's a comedian. He's on the road. He's mm. doing shows, and we're going to talk about that now. We're about to do a segment called "Ask a Comedian." Excellent. You got music for that? I sure do. All right. I got music. I get my yeah. own background music. Yeah. If, if ever you wanted, to, you music. if ever you you've wanted to ask a comedian a question mm-hmm. about their craft, about what motivates them, mm. about like how much you get paid. <laughs> Text us now <laughs> at 55100. How about my social security number? <laughs> Whatever you need. <laughs> Whatever you need. Whatever you need. And, uh, and so Filippo likes to come in and, and just kind of hang out with us. And, but this is your segment, not Filippo's. Yeah. Right. Pret- pretend I'm going to just watch pretend, right now. Pretend he's not here. <laughs> your English is pretty good. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. You were expecting like a, a strong Italian accent, like "Hi everybody," or something like that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I was. It's kind of what we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, if you could deliver. That'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. Whenever I speak, American people are pretty disappointed because this is not the English they're expecting. But sometimes, do they have comedy clubs in Italy? Yes, but unfortunately, they're not cool as they are here in the states. No. no. Why not? Because, you know, here I feel uh, here in the States, if you are like a stand up comedian, Mm -hmm. uh, you can become like you're the main character. You can host like the Academy Awards or the Grammys. Mm -hmm. In Italy, if you're like a stand up comedian, you're like the weird guy. (laughs) (laughs) It's 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 much more like a niche. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. So don't go there. More like a jester. Yeah, 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 you we like comedy yeah. like this. Yeah, right? you like uh, you go into the piazza, you tell a joke, people throw coins at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's how it works. <laughs> so it's, it's not, not like that here, kid. <laughs> I tell you, Johnny is doing a show uh, at Avenel Performing Arts Center. Saturday, September fourteenth. That's, that's this Saturday. This yeah. Saturday at eight o'clock, I'm going to be there. I have a great lineup too. Uh, uh, Laura High uh, um, and Ethan Corrigano, and it's hosted by Mike Scioli. And I'm going to be obviously the headliner, and it's in Avenel, New Jersey, which is a beautiful theater, by the way. You know who it manages? Tell her who manages uh, Avenel Theater. Anthony Wilkinson. Anthony. 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 Anthony from Staten Island. From Staten Island. Oh, you know. Anthony from Staten Island. Absolutely. There's a lot of Antonys in Staten Island. <laughs> I know. There's a lot Do you of them. know what they call Staten Island? Uh, like the. No, New York, Italy, Staten, something like that. Italy, Staten, Italy, it's Italy. called. Yeah. Staten, Staten, Italy. Italy. Yeah. yeah. Yes. See, this is why Italians can't be comedians. They, they screw up the punchline. Yeah. <laughs> well, it takes them so long to get the joke. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, there is, there's, you know, I mean, there's a language barrier here. Yeah, of course. Not yeah. really. Not, with, think, not, yeah. with, not with Filippo. Well, you don't know what's going on in his head. <laughs> <laughs> I have to stay so focused to understand. Even if you're saying like a simple thing like, hi, how are you? I have to be like, oh, yes. All right. Try I to prefer, as if, uh, you know, like... A, if you were speaking Italian to me, I mean, I'm not. Uh, I'm that way with English. I can't even speak English. I'm a little slow. <laughs> so right. also, you're going to play uh, Palm Beach Kennel Club in Palm Beach, Florida, September 28th, the day before my birthday. That's my birthday show, and mm-hmm. uh, the Palm Beach Be- uh, Kettle Club in Palm Beach is uh, a great venue. Uh, I por- I performed there before. I love it. The people are fantastic, and. Uh, You'd be shocked how many New Yorkers are in that area. That I'm oh, not yeah. shocked at all. <laughs> they retire there. Yeah. I mean, it's so funny to go into Florida and I perform there and people, you know, wait to talk to you after the show and they go, I grew up with you. I used to listen to you on the radio. They're yeah. all there now. Yeah. They I mean, all ran. It's, it's crazy. I, I'm going to give those dates and places again yeah. in a few minutes. So you had a Danielle story. 
My Danielle story is a little embarrassing to the both of us. Oh. Okay. Let's so Danielle it. and I, um, <laughs> as you know, uh, I, we, we, we're friends. Well, you know, we're friends. We love each other. And uh, we said, let's get together with our spouses, you know, Sheldon and my wife, Danielle. Mm -hmm. So we arranged this date. You know, it's very hard to schedule anything with her because she has children and she's very busy. So uh, we get a date and we decide to go to Houston's in Paramus. Yeah. Okay. I love Houston's. Right. Mm -hmm. We love it too. It's off one of our favorite restaurants. So we get a beautiful table. And the place is packed. There's not. It's not empty at all. There's not one seat available. We're in the on the left in the corner. Halfway through the dinner, the manager of the restaurant comes to our table. Now keep in mind, we're the furthest point. Um, if it's possible, uh, we're getting some complaints. You people are too loud. <laughs> and, did, did they and say and you I'm people? Like, yeah, and I'm like, you people. how loud are we? Because we are so far away from everybody. Well, see, you're loud in telling the story. Yeah. Yeah. Were, were, were you this loud? We didn't, we had no idea. But here's the thing. That place is loud. It's a loud restaurant. It's yes. a loud restaurant. But, no, How but, did but they you're, hear us? You're both loud. I tell you why it's loud. Because a restaurant will become louder as loud people become wow. more loud. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So with you two, in the, you, you understand what I'm saying, Gandhi, right? I'm laughing that Danielle's like, how did they hear us? I can hear you outside of this soundproof room in the bathroom. You are loud. That's how they heard you. And everybody always hears me. You, you guys are loud. Therefore, when you speak, the whole room gets loud. And therefore, you're the problem. No, I, Elvis. I've been in Whatever. restaurants with bachelor parties. I've never got thrown out. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm here with my wife and another couple, and and we're they it's, want us to leave. It's fine. Were you drinking? Look you are. Very, yeah. very Italian. <laughs> very Italian. Very yeah. Italian. So, what part of Italy? This is Sicily, right here. Yeah. It, this is probably the south. It's in yeah. Naples. Yeah. 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 My, yeah, my last name is Siciliano. It's, it's, yeah. So it's uh, yeah, from people Sicily. from Sicilia. They're, they're rah, very loud. <laughs> so the reason why they complain is you were the cause of. The volume in the room. I think you were louder than me. I thought they were coming over to like offer us a no. free dessert, like, something <laughs> like that. Well, that's why I'm taking you <laughs> yeah. like, Oh, Danielle, they, they we would, know they, who you are. They would offer. <laughs> we, we'd love Z100. We'd like to buy you a dessert. That is what he thought. That is now, what, what he thought. they would do. They would offer you a dessert uh, to go. <laughs> Guess what restaurant I'm taking him to next? <laughs> Ama. Oh, you can be very loud. So yeah, but, I think we could be loud there. No, the people who own it are from Naples. Yeah. They're from Napoli. So yeah. you're, you're going to be loud. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what was the first, They walked away after asking you to shut up. Yeah. So you they must did. you must have giggled a little. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, are we that loud? Did you look around to try to figure out who in the room was the, the a-hole that told no. you to shut up? No. And we didn't get quiet. We just <laughs> continued our conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so let's hear. Houston's what town is it in? Paramus, right? It's, is it is Paramus that, or Hackensack? Hackensack. Yeah, oh, Hackensack. Hackensack. Is it Hackensack? Hackensack. Right. What, what's yeah. that mall? Riverside Square. R all right. All right. God, so you're a genius. Right. Whoever uh, manages Houston's at Riverside Square Mall in Hackensack, yeah, you had you had two of the loudest, <laughs> most Italians. wonderful Italians <laughs> in your restaurant. It's all good. And you shut them down. That's wow, you can't, <laughs> you know, it's like I, I just look at Danielle sometimes when we're talking and I'm like, wow, you just can't get rid of the Bronx. Ever. No, you can't. Uh, <laughs> hello. I know. Well, we're, hardcore, talking. We're, hardcore, we're, hardcore, we're hardcore Bronx to the end, me and Danielle. We only grew up in the same neighborhood. Yeah. I don't it, know if you knew that. I mean, that was a loud neighborhood, I'm it sure. It was very yeah. loud. Hey, so should we do Ask It a, a Comedian? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where's Where's that? I hate this music. <laughs> I hate that. Uh, all right, That's Ask a Comedian. Show. Does anyone have. Filippo, I, you, yeah, Filippo, yeah, you yeah, have yeah. to ask it whenever you're ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Oh, you you're ready. Right. Okay, you, Filippo, you know our guest from Italy, has a question for yeah, you. Yeah, you know what's funny? That I spent three weeks here in the States, and I tried to do stand-up in English, and this is true. All right. This is true. So my question is, how do you deal with when you're, like, in a small comedy club, and basically the, cr the crowd is other comedians that are not so, <laughs> uh, how can I say, they don't want to laugh? How do you deal with that? Yeah, like, a, a tough audience. A tough I'm audience. having a little trouble with your English. Sorry, man. I understand. I'll call a Can you later. bring that back in Italian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Filippo's right, though. You know, yeah. If uh, it's not scripted, I, I cannot say anything no, I in English. <laughs> I'm only teasing you. Standing, standing up, for me, standing up in front of comedians are just normal people who want to laugh. That's frightening. Yeah. It's frightening. Then well, you do it. Yes and no. Okay. I, I mean, it, it comes with experience. All right. So when you start, obviously, you're a young comedian and 
you've experienced, you know, performing in front of four people and 400 people and maybe 4,000. Once you go through all those cycles and you have all those experiences with the small crowds, the medium crowds, the large crowds, you come out and you become one thing that nobody could teach you as a comedian is seasoning. So in other words, over a period of time, you'll experience every situation, every type of crowd. So when you come out, you'll get a sense of what the audience is like. And the audience decides very quickly whether they like you or not. But if, they, if they're not feeling you, and I've been there, you have, to, you have to feel the vibration of the audience and look for the underbelly and, 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 and make them like you. Wow. You understand yeah. what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, of course. And, and you can. And, and also, if you're feeling uncomfortable and it's really overwhelming, address it. Really? You, you should show your vulnerability. Well, show your vul vulnerability. You tell you know? the audience, you frighten me. Well, yeah. I, 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 no, well, it's like, uh, all right, look, I'll give you a line. Especially if you're in I'll front you of like line, four people. I'll give you a line that. Well, yeah, four people, to, to me, 4,000 people is easier to entertain than four people. I'll give you a line that I heard. A, co a comedian came out and the and the audience was not feeling him okay and it was starting to get uncomfortable okay and he flipped it like this he looked at the audience and he said you know what I feel like the band on the Titanic <laughs> <laughs> and everybody got it right you know what I mean and people if you're up there and you're honest and like Elvis says you display a little vulnerability uh you know they'll feel you. They'll give. They'll give. Audiences will give you a second chance. Now that being said, the times that you don't get second chance is if you get very, very political, and the audience is 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 like let's say you know one on one side. Like you could do certain jokes in Manhattan, and you can't do those jokes in Long Island, and vice versa. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, yeah, political jokes are mm. different. Uh, well, they're different, and they're they're a little bit dangerous, and you have to remember where you are. You have to have a, a you know a grip of the area. That's a great answer. It's very long, but it's a great answer. <laughs> I got one. Well, <laughs> why? You, where is your crappy background music? <laughs> to save the day. Oh, oh God! That must right, be that's it. No more questions. I got a question too. No, 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 I got one. one. I, can I go? I love that you asked that question. What is your okay, I, Goomba? I know you've been heckled. A lot. Mm. Has a heckler ever made you cry? Oh God, no. 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 Way. Never. Me, no. Cry. No. Nobody. Cry. I, I've never seen a. You don't cry in softball. Have you ever? <laughs> have you ever had? Have you ever been heckled and then you go home and it it kind of sits with you for a couple of days? Yeah. I haven't been. Uh, I was heckled once, and um, I'm a. I'm pretty big for a comedian, mm -hmm. as comedians go. You know, I'm an ex athlete, and. Um, some guy heckled me and I said, dude, I said, save it. The next comedian's 5'6", 140 pounds. Um, he's going to take it. I said, I'm just going to come out and smash your head off the table. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there you go. I want, I want, <laughs> okay, okay, it's Ask Comedian. Yes, Danielle. Um, I would like to know if there's any um, subject that's off limits or do you tackle every subject out there? What's your name, little girl? <laughs> oh, God. And there you go. Okay. There's my answer. Pretty much got it. Uh, Gandhi, ask a comedian. Yes. Okay, who and what do you find funny? Um, comedically? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, uh, I, I admire and love Colin Quinn. Okay. Uh, he's just a brilliant man. His body of work. He gets mad at me because... I call him the Vincent Van Gogh of comedy. I'm like, when you're gone, people are gonna look at your body of work and say, you are a genius. Not till he's gone. Not till he's gone. <laughs> well, he, I tease him on that. I, I love Colin Quinn. Uh, I like uh, Bill Burr a lot. Um, and I also like, there's a comedian that you guys, Ryan Hamilton. Okay. Is uh, I really enjoy him a lot, uh, but I've worked with so many different comedians. But what type of comedy makes you laugh? What yeah, what, yeah. what what really makes you lose, lose it? Um, people, I like Andrew Schultz. No, not not names of people, uh, but, oh. like, but yeah, subject matter. Always laughs at old people falling. Oh, she thinks that it's type of stuff. Yeah. You know, someone falling down the flight of stairs. Yeah. Yes, she loves it. As long as they're not hurt, as Gandhi. long as they're not hurt. <laughs> well, she no, she likes slapstick. Um, I I like. Um, <laughs> You know, I like the, uh, the 
the like the Norm McDon- the surprise junk, you know, uh, punchlines. Like right. in other words, you don't see it coming. Okay. I love that too. You know, and, and that's, yeah. those those things are like very hard to write. You know what I mean? Like you can't like. I'll give you a joke I wrote recently. I um I got married at fifty, right? So we decided not to have children, and I was too old, right? So we sat down and we wanted to adopt. So we ran into an unexpected hurdle. We couldn't agree on a child. And, you know, we didn't, my wife wanted a boy, seven or eight, Asian or Latino. I wanted a girl, Russian, about 30 years old. And, <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> oh, there you go. All right, Froggy, ask a comedian. All right, Kuma, do you ever see somebody do a bit and you think, man, that could have been way better. They suck, and then you kind of change it around to make it your own. No, but I will go up to comedians. I mean, well, look, there are. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, there's many comedians that do different versions of the same bit. I mean, look, I'm Italian. You know, I do Italian stuff. I do stuff on Italian weddings. Sebastian does Italian weddings. Uh, you know, you know, Anthony Rodia does something on it. Or you know, everybody does their own version of this. But I will say you this, when I do work with comedians, and um, this happens often, a lot of people don't see it backstage. A comedian will get off stage and come backstage and another comedian will grab him and go, hey, that bit that you did about your mother, I got got a tag, they call them tags, the punchlines. He goes, I got a tag for you that. And the one thing that I could pass on to you is from a comedian, uh, your jokes, the way you, you do them now, they're never over. You can always add to them. I have jokes that I did 10 years ago that I've expanded recently. They're never done. Hmm. You can always oh. update and uh, remind it. But it's very common for comedians to go up to other comedians and tell them, hey, that bit you do is fantastic, but did you ever think of this? Hmm. Have and, you ever stolen a joke, though? I think that's another part of <laughs> Froggy's question. Well, if you no, taking, I mean, this, if you ever reconstructed someone else's joke and made it no, better well, and did there, it yourself, there, there's concepts and there's jokes. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, I, you know what I mean. I yeah, mean, yeah, uh, yeah, no, I, no, I rip people off every day. I don't care. It's, it's no always says, if you steal from him, you've stolen twice. <laughs> you, know, you, you know, you know who said that too? Oh, okay. Scott Shannon said that. Well, I stole oh. that from him. Do your own music. Yeah, scary. Our last question for Ask a Comedian. Yeah, how how is your act? changed over the years in dealing with sensitive times and snowflakes or has it not <laughs> um i i feel like i straddle the fence um i try and you know i'll feel the audience and you know wh- whichever direction the audience tells me to go i go i mean i try not to be too offensive or hurt anybody but i definitely try to uh raise a few eyebrows during my act and you, you know you just do the best you can some comedians make a living li- living on the edge i i make a committing uh a living standing on the fence all right <laughs> if you fall on that fence your balls are gonna hurt just saying that wasn't very nice thank you very much <laughs> nice. can i have the music please <laughs> there you go. i don't know i gotta be honest I'm not really satisfied with this ask a comedian segment i i, I wanted ask I, your ask a question i don't well, have a come question on. no I'm Why done, not? Because I'm done with you. You're funnier than me. I tell you, you brought the funny back to our show. <laughs> Today. I, and I want to thank you for letting me have that opportunity to bring the funny and to meet. I'm um, sorry. I forgot your name. Filippo. Uh, Filippo. But you can call me Phil. Ha, Phil. <laughs> but I don't think yeah. you're, you're, not, you're not an aspiring comedian, are you? Is this yeah, something I'm, tr- you just I'm, did? I'm trying to. Yeah, I spent three weeks in the States and I did a couple of mics. I tried to do. I did stand up in Chicago and right. I did it in LA and I did it here. I mean... I'm just starting out. But it's it, frightening. And it's crazy because it's trying to be funny in a language that isn't yours is tough because you think you've got, you've got great jokes, but people are just laughing at how you talk. So, right. Well, yeah. how long how long is your visa? How long will you be here for? <laughs> no, I'm leaving today. Oh, God. Yeah. I was, uh, when you come back, I'll bring you to one of my shows. I would love Aww. to be back very soon. Oh, you, actually, my dream is to move to New York, so one day it will happen. Come so. host this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. whenever, whenever you want. No, 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 no. Right, like starting in one hour. No, you- <laughs> <laughs> Music, please. <laughs> Wait, I got someone on the phone. Hold on. I got, we have people calling in. Hello, Kay. Is that you? It's me. Kay from beautiful Dayton, Ohio, listening to your channel hey. 999, I'm hoping. So are you, what is your question for Ask a Comedian Goomba Johnny? I just wanted to know when people come up and say, hey, tell me a joke. Do you look at them and say, oh, so you're a surgeon. Can you go ahead and take my appendix out right now? Exactly. 
<laughs> uh, tell me a joke. Be funny. Yeah, you, you, you got funny. a good point, Kay. They yeah, do you're it to us. Be funny. Well, that you know that does happen a lot. And when they say that, I uh, give them the uh, location of my next appearance, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, tell them, I tell them I'll be more than happy to tell you yeah. a few jokes. Okay, done. They deal. do yeah. that to us. They do do the laugh to me. Do the laugh. I oh, go. They well, say that to you. Say something funny, yeah. and I will do the laugh. No, I don't know. Well, I, I'm I'm even deeply, more deeply insulted. Like, oh, you do. The, the show, right? Yeah. What's today's forecast? <laughs> no, people ask you the weather? No. Yeah, what's the weather? I don't know what the weather is. <laughs> oh, Apparently my God. Apparently, Scary's gotten it wrong every time he did it today. Uh, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. So there you go, Kay. Uh, do, you don't do that to right. comedians, do you? Do you ask comedians to be funny? Put them on the spot? No. What do you do for no, a living? but I do love them. What do you do for I'm a I'm a nurse. Uh, Oh, then can you come in and shave my balls? <laughs> wow. Oh, my God, in heaven. Music, please. <laughs> Listen, thank you, Kay. Thank you for listening to us. And you have a great day, okay? And oh but like, I know that nur nurses are much more important than ball shaving. I know. <laughs> It's not the only thing they do. No, you do a lot. No, no. Thank God for nurses. Doctors yeah. would fail to exist. Anyway, thank you, Kay. Thank you so much. And there you I go. can't wait till you go to the emergency room the next time. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no, nurses and teachers. We got them. Uh, so, look, Goomba Johnny is going to be at Avenel Performing Arts Center this Saturday. For tickets and all the info, head to avenelarts.com. Or if you want to see him at Palm Beach Kennel Club in Palm Beach, Florida, which is such an interesting concept of a venue. Yeah. Well, it's an old dog track. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, and now it's uh, a comedy they, club. Yeah. No, it's an old dog track, and it's owned by the Roonies, who own the Pittsburgh Steelers. So they closed the dog track. They made half of it into this beautiful poker room, and the other half into an entertainment center where they have comedy and uh, and old and, dogs and music. No old dogs are going to show no, up? No, but the tr dog track is still there. It's still oh, there. Oh, really? Yeah. They, gonna, they, I'm going to take my schnauzers yeah, out. Yeah, take your schnauzer. <laughs> you might think it's One. funny. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we love you, Johnny. I love you, man. I love all you guys. Even uh, Filippo. <laughs> even, even the real Italian. <laughs> the, the, the I only man. So nice to meet you. You're the only I real think Italian. you guys made friends today. That's nice. Absolutely. It is nice. You got a new best friend. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, do you have Instagram in Italy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have humor really? and Actually, they you have Instagram. What? You know what? what? Food just arrived. We have water. We, have, yeah, right. <laughs> we do. Yeah. Just, just yeah. like we do. You, maybe you could turn it into wine. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Is that funny? <laughs> ah, it's like a Jesus joke. Okay. <laughs> Music, please. <laughs> Where's the there it is. Goodbye, Johnny. Thank you. The Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge.